Hello, hello on this happy Sunday, sunshine-filled uh, uh, day. Uh, just wanted to come on and do my live for this afternoon. Um, if you are just joining me or uh, haven't seen one of my broadcasts before, my name is Laura and I am here to have conversations of support with all of you. So I am here to um, talk about um, something that affects all of us at some point in our lives. And it's not a, a, an easy topic, uh, but um, I think if we support one another through it, it, it doesn't have to be um, so difficult for us to get through. And the topic uh, today is grief. And I found a couple of quotes that I wanted to share with you today, and I have them posted on the Conversations of Support page. Um, the first one is that grief is not a disorder, a disease, or a sign of weakness. It is an emotional, physical, and spiritual necessity. The price you pay for love, the only cure for grief is to grieve. And that uh, was shared by Earl Grawlman. And then the other one that I find that is very comforting and welcoming, uh, that gives me hope uh, when we're grieving, is that when we grieve, angels are always near us to whisper that our loved ones are safely in the hands of God. And for me, that is such a message of promise and of hope and that one day we will be with them. Uh, but the general topic of grief um, it is a tough one. We all have things that we are grieve uh, about. It could be the loss of a parent. It could be loss of a child, a sibling, um, some relative, aunt, uncle, cousin. Um, it could be a, a loss of a close friend, a co-worker. Um, we grieve the losses of even celebrities whom we don't even know personally when we hear that they've passed. Um, um, we grieve the loss of a job, we grieve the loss of a dream that we might have had or an expectation of a life um, that we thought we were going to be having. Um, we grieve the diagnosis of an illness for ourselves or for our children. Um, so there's different kinds of grief out there and there's different ways to get through it. But ultimately what I'm here to share today is that grief is not wrong grief is not bad it needs to happen we all have to grieve and that grief over time may change it will ebb and flow some days it will be so overwhelming that you don't want to get out of bed other days it's kind of tucked in the back of your mind that you're missing someone or something and and but you're still functioning um, in life um, so, you know, there's different types of grief. Um, I have several friends um, recently who have lost a parent um, or a sibling. And um, like today I, at church, I saw the mom of one of my close friends um, growing up. Uh, um, this mom, her husband passed away. Um, and older gentleman you know but I grew up with him in church and I knew him and it made me sad that she looked at me and said she was heartbroken and I can feel her pain and I can feel her sadness and I know she's going to be grieving for a long time and it's okay and it's okay if we grieve with her and support her through this time um, I have another close friend that just lost her father to an illness and her brother uh, unexpectedly uh, to uh, an illness. So, you know, sometimes we're overwhelmed with how fast and how often some of this stuff all happens to us at one time. But for me in particular, using my faith to hold on to that promise, that hope, that um, our loved ones, um, if we're grieving the loss of a person, um, that they are with our Father in Heaven and that they are with our other relatives who already are there prior uh, to us getting there. So, you know, I can be there, I can give her a hug and I can say, 
uh, that I'm so sorry that she has to go through this, but I want her to know and I want them to know that it's okay to grieve and there's no specific timeline for grief. You don't, yes, there are different stages and, and we may focus in on them uh, uh, um, uh, later on and decide, you know, and talk about the different uh, specific t um, uh, stages of grief. Um, but just remember, we're all unique, we're all individuals, and our grieving process is gonna, uh, does not have to look like a book a textbook uh, description of grief. It does not have to match your friends or your neighbors or your other family members uh, um, length of grief or how you grieve. All I do know personally is that grief happens strongly for me when I have cared strongly about that person or that um, thing that I'm, I'm, I'm losing. You know, I grieved the loss and the re uh, when I retired from being a preschool director. Um, didn't exactly happen the way I had pictured it to happen. Maybe that was God's plan. Maybe it wasn't. But I, I was allowed to grieve and be sad about that. Um, I was allowed to grieve when my son was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And it's okay and I'll be honest it took the first nine months for me to stop crying at church uh, every Sunday it's like are you all picking the songs that are uh, really you know making me cry here um, but I was grieving I was grieving the loss of what I at that time when he was six years old what I thought his life was gonna be like but you know what guess what he's 24 now and even though He's had to grieve the loss of being able to walk. Um, most recently, he, he's, he's um, not able to feed himself as uh, um, easily, um, just a little bit. Um, more, more often than not, we're helping to feed him. Um, and that's a big change. That's a grieving the loss of being able to do a simple task. Um, but we're allowed to feel upset and sad and mad about it and then we have to keep moving otherwise we get stuck in that one type of emotion um, grieving the loss of a child or your spouse or um, your sibling I think is a lot more difficult in the sense that sometimes the death was expected sometimes it was not um, and we don't know when that grief is going to hit us, you know. Um, like I said, grief will ebb and flow throughout time. One day you may be perfectly fine and being able to smile out there and people will think you're handling things okay. But deep down, you are, you may walk into a store and then all of a sudden realize, you know, my loved one's not here. And um, it brings up all of those feelings again. Um, so just know that it happens, that it's okay when it happens. Honor it, respect it. If we, as somebody who has maybe not lost a person um, or dealing with that kind of immediate grief right now ourselves, the way we can best support those others who are grieving is just to really be there, to listen, just let them talk. Don't be afraid to say their loved one's name. Don't be afraid to share a memory with them. It lets them know that their loved one is not forgotten, um, that they made an impact when they were here and they're gonna make an impact when they're not here. Um, we, uh, we all wanna feel connected, right? So don't be afraid to let your memories of someone hold you back from saying that that person's name to the one that's grieving the loss um, they will let you know if they're able to talk about that uh, person right then and there and they may not be and that's okay the grief may be too much uh, at that moment but when they look back they will realize that you cared enough to talk about their friend and 
Absolutely, Ashley. It is okay to not be okay, right? We all have those days. Um, you know, I, I, uh, um, I do a lot of encouraging, you know, when I'm, I'm talking to people, but I have my own days where I'm not so uh, happy and perky and handling things uh, the best way, um, but that's okay. I'm, I give myself those days and then I try to make sure I fo focus and find something to, to keep me moving forward. Um, uh, what uh, other what else would you be able to do to help support somebody who maybe just immediately has recently lost a loved one um, and they're grieving um, uh, you could get a gift card for dinner for them somewhere and help them um, take one burden of finding a meal for their family um, as a way to show support um, now you all know I do not cook my husband does the cooking right <laughs> so out of love for you all if i need to share a gift card you know if i need to provide dinner for you and your family um, you will be getting a gift card from me because we i want to keep you all healthy and i use humor in my life and so when even even when i'm grieving and and all of that i've got to find some humor in in the situation so um, but everybody is different. Everybody handles grief differently. It's okay. When our son was first diagnosed, that first nine, uh, nine months was really tough for us. I know, it was, I feel like it was specifically nine months for me. Um, for my husband, the first couple of months, at, when he got home from work, he was in bed. He was sleeping. It was like grief does allow us to build a little bit of a protective wall around ourselves so that we can heal our hearts a little bit so that we can uh, keep moving forward um, and and it's okay uh, you know we've obviously gotten through that stage of grieving the diagnosis with him and we started living life and we started you know enjoying and doing the best we can with our son with what he can do and every time things have changed we just have to learn to adjust you know but there are times where he my husband will still get sad that you know our son has to to live life like this and go through this but we know that God is providing for us and we know that God is watching over our son um, no matter what and he watches over our daughters just the same. Um, so it's not just about our sick kids, uh, you know, um, we're protecting our healthy kids as well too. So I, um, I encourage you, if you are grieving something, to honor it, respect it, um, don't hide from it. Um, and don't be afraid to let people know that you just can't talk right now, you know, it's okay. Um, and if you just need somebody to sit with you, just be another body in the room and not say anything, that's the way we can help, you know, we can help each other by just giving a hug, not saying a word and letting them, you know, cry, vent, talk, whatever it is, that is showing support. That is having conversations of support with one another. Um, so um, I'm still trying to figure out, I haven't quite figured out what my series will be for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this coming week with our lives. Um, but I will post that on the conversations page and let everyone know what my series will be. Um, I feel like this is a, uh, an opportunity for um, a little bit of a ministry for me to be able to help share how I've gotten through some tough times in life um, how you know um, as I've stated before you know we deal with anxiety stress um, grief um, happiness um, every kind of emotion that we can think of right differently um, so what works for me may not necessarily work for you um, but if we share the information with each other, then I think that's showing support too, right? So um, share with me what you would like if there's a series of topics. Um, I think I will cover on one of the days um, finding joy. 
um, because we can find joy in the midst of sadness um, and disappointment and unexpected life changes um, it is okay to find joy so we'll talk about that I think on one day um, I'm uh, still trying to uh, plan the other three days yet uh, so I will definitely post that if you're watching the replay put down in the comments where you're watching from and uh, if you have any suggestions on the topics that you would like to talk about um, also and then um, those of you who are joining me live I really appreciate it and um, uh, I hope that this is, some, is helpful to you. Um, if it is, uh, don't be afraid to share the, the videos out uh, to your others or share the page out to those of you that you feel might benefit from it. Um, but what we're doing here is um, uh, sharing conversations of support. We are all different. We all call, come from all different types of walks of life. Um, we have different life experiences, but what one thing we do have in common is how to be supportive to each other. We can show kindness even when we disagree, and we can show uh, support in simple ways, not even by sharing advice or anything. Uh, it's just by being there for each other. So let me know um, what you would like to talk about um, this coming week. Uh, I would like to have a kind of a common theme. So I think maybe it'll be a finding something. So we're going to find joy on one of those days. And maybe we'll talk about finding resources um, another day. Um, you know, I have my experience a little bit with the, um, as an ally in the recovery community. Uh, so, you know, we can talk about that. We can talk about um, showing support to um, those who are in the midst of um, some big life uh, change. Uh, you know, it, there's so many things we can talk about. Um, again, today's topic was talking about grief and knowing that it's okay to grieve and that it's never going to fully end because we never stop fully caring and loving about that person or that uh, situation that we cared about and had a passion for, um, but it will ebb and flow. Some days we will be able to handle it calmly and nobody would ever know that you're still sad that, that we're missing someone. Um, other days it will be that day where we just say, you know, I can't talk, but I appreciate you letting me know that you remember my loved one. And I think that is uh, the biggest thing that I want to share that um, those of you who do have a faith, draw upon that. If you don't have a faith, call it what you will, but whatever it is, it gives you the strength to keep moving forward. Um, to honor the ones that we're, we're sad that we that are no longer here on earth with us um, and and respect to those who are grieving um, and their process because the way we grieve may be totally different than the way they do um, so I appreciate each and every one of you feel free to chat with me and talk with me when when I'm doing these um, so that I, I uh, uh, can get a feel for what you would like to talk about uh, but for today um, and isn't it nice out here look I'm not even wearing a big heavy coat I only have my sweater on today um, but again you all know that being outside here at this house is the easiest way for me to have my quiet time to be able to do these lives uh, with all of you um, today's a shower day for sun so husband's busy getting uh, son ready to start his day and then he's gonna go to the hubby's gonna go to the grocery store um, for some reason since I don't cook they don't think I should go to the grocery store they say I don't buy food so on that happy note I want you all to know that you are loved you are cared for you are important just the way you are and that you are supported and encouraged and you can be a supporter and encourager to someone else out there so don't forget to smile when you're out and about um, even it, at the 
busy grocery store smile at somebody it could be that one little act of kindness that they needed to get them through their day because we don't know if they're grieving and just going through the motions of getting food uh, for their family or not so um, thank you very much and I will see you all tomorrow most likely in the afternoon so I appreciate you and we will talk about finding joy tomorrow okay have a wonderful rest of your Sunday um, be blessed be happy um, and even if you're sad be okay with that okay so I will see you tomorrow have a wonderful day thank you so much for joining me on this conversations of support till tomorrow blessings <laughs>